okay so i'm here looking at some recent videos from apostle femi lazarus have a look at this this is two weeks old and it's about 102,000 views now this is just a month old and it's about 70,000 views this one here is just 10 days old it's about 64,000 views and this one right here just four weeks old 50,000 views now the moment you notice the body of christ giving so much attention to a man of god it literally means the man of god is experiencing a great shift in his ministry that was the same thing that happened back then for apostle joshua selman online that is the same thing that happened to apostle michael oropo this same thing also happened to apostle edu udechuku and several other ministers but this time around it's time for apostle femi Lazarus. But guess what? He did not start as an apostle. He was first known as Pastor Femi Lazarus. Here is the story. In June 2022, the minister Femi Lazarus was ordained as an apostle by a minister whom he calls his God ordained priest and spiritual father. As we move on in this video, I will tell you the name of this spiritual father, and you would be so surprised once I reveal this to you. Interestingly, four years before the apostle apostolic ordination this same spiritual father ordained minister femi lazarus as a pastor and commissioned this church spear of light so it's really obvious that these two really have a strong history together before i tell you his name i also noticed apostle femi lazarus was a bachelor when he started his church in 2018 but two years later he got married to his wife and finally shut the mouths of all the suspects suspicious busybodies and gossipers who always mocked the unmarried state of successful bachelors in ministry. Now I hope they get to watch this video and hear this themselves because that's what they are, busybodies and gossipers. But don't be too surprised when you see more new videos from Apostle Femi Lazarus while scrolling across your phone. Don't be surprised my friend. Just allow this great minister to enjoy the fruits of his labor because from all the signs, Apostle Femi Lazarus is now amongst the League of Ministers in Africa who have received the Yer Yehim anointing. In layman's language, the Yer Yehim anointing is responsible for making men hear you, which means once God places this grace on any man, he or she would literally become sorted for across a territory or even globally. Messages like practical things to put in place before marriage, scent of water, black tax, and many more have all amounted to several millions of views on YouTube collectively. This does not happen by luck, my friend. Obviously, the Yer Yehim anointing is speaking. I would not be able to tell you all what Apostle Femi Lazarus did to come this far. He is surely the best man to do that. But this one thing I can tell you. Have you ever heard about the statement which says, when God has lifted your neighbor, he is surely around the corner and most likely you are the next to be lifted up. Let me explain this. Apostle Femi Lazarus has always had many friends and brothers in ministry. Some of them include Apostle Michael Oropo, Pastor Daniel Olawande, Evangelist Loris Oyo, Apostle Emmanuel Iren, and a few others. Interestingly, for a long time, all these close friends of his have been known to be way popular and crowd appealing. But all true, Apostle Femi remained steadfast, doing his work behind the scenes, raising giants, conquering territories on site, building great capacity, and getting closer to God because he was just too associated with greatness to remain small. He knew in a matter of time the fire from his ministry would spread globally and that is where we are now surely this is just the beginning and there is more to come join me today and celebrate grace type in the comment section i celebrate apostle femi lazarus so i promised you earlier to give you the name of apostle femi lazarus spiritual father right i'm just going to say one or two things so because papa is standing and so i won't take time again to say the things i should have said I will just say this, that I know how I was and what I was when I met him. And I know what God is doing now. And we are trusting God when we know what he will do. Amen. Um, I said something in church times back that some things are easy, some things are quite difficult. It is easier to be a good son but it is work to be a great father. 
Papa is, if there's any definition to fatherhood, he is. He stays with us through tea canteen. And Papa, please permit me to just say this because I, I shared it in your absence, but I just want to say it again. That there was a situation that came and myself and my wife had to reach out to Papa that this is what we are facing, that this is this and that. And he looked and looked and looked and said, give me a minute, let me also call my father. I felt shielded. He didn't manage us with ego. He, he, and when he came, he came with the counsel of the Lord. That's fatherhood. He stayed with us through days and weeks of fastings, of declarations and all that. And all that you are seeing today, by the grace of God, and I say this in no small way, is because God has connected us to this great ego. We are privileged, sir. We are blessed to have you father us with so much honor in your heart join me as we receive my spiritual father for his second session so he is pastor bimbo anima shaun the president of bimbo anima shaun teaching ministries and the founder and general overseer of feeding center church I made a video recently about the amazing relationship between Apostle Joshua Selman and Pastor Nathaniel Bassi. Do go ahead and watch this video, you would love it.